sleep well. Malachi didn't sleep well, which means we don't sleep well. And Dustin has to work tonight and tomorrow morning. So he's going to go down to DC and work through the night because they're doing some merger or something. And um, anyways, so coffee is going. And then this note was under our door. From Anna to mommy and poppy, turn the page. And it says, you're invited to a magic show. So, I think I'm going to have to do a magic show before we can get school started today. I'm invited to a show. Da, da, da. Poppy's too. Poppy's not going to wake up for a while because he has to work tonight. I said that one show. Wait. Well, then we're not going to be able to do the um, disappearing act. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't do a disappearing act unless Poppy's here? Yeah. Because... Who's going to watch it if I'm the assistant, Lydia's the magic person, and you're going to be the person who's going to go in? Peg leg. I'm the one that's going to oh, disappear? Wait, wait. Some people use coffee grounds to make their hair shiny. Ping pong, ball, ping pong balls can travel 70 miles an hour. That's faster than a speeding car. Wow. It's okay. So guys, today we're gonna do school. Um, because Poppy's leaving in the afternoon, I'll let you guys do your morning chores after he's gone, because you won't <coughs> see him till tomorrow. Hi. So we're gonna eat breakfast, do school, eat lunch with Poppy. He's gonna leave, we're gonna do our morning chores, and then you guys can watch TV. Cool? We're getting ready to do school, and Mommy's just about to write all our um, assignments. We got our desk over here, our library back here. get up around seven something in the morning um, and get going with my prayer time or whatever today I am getting ready about 10 30 in the morning the girls and Lori have been going for the whole morning she has had her quiet time away from everybody and then they all got up and ransacked her I'm sure as usual and I've got to get clothes out of my container here in the basement it's down in the basement for now because we had to stage the house and there's a look at the basement of this old house anyway and I get to sleep in because Malachi was up through the night which is still not why I sleep in I have to get up even if uh, Kai is up through the night if work requires it but today work starts at 9 30 p.m. and goes through the night I am redoing the architecture of one of our clients um, 
systems so I'm redoing all the IPs and rerouting them I will show you how that goes a little later on I am getting ready to boom, test the balls right mom exactly once I get my coffee squared away and I got everything set up spend some time going through um, the word I'm not gonna do that for you to benefit on but you will notice I color code my word, and I've got this kind of color code reference. It's pretty cool stuff. What time are you leaving? 9.30 p.m. What? I've got all day. <gasps> it's a it's a late night, all night thing. Remember? I know it's late night, all night, but I thought you were leaving after lunch. Mm -hmm. like oh 9, my 30. goodness, the kids are gonna pee their pants. Yeah, so I get, I get extra time. I'm very happy about that. Are you gonna sleep? I might. Malachi got up at 3.30 and four something, and was up through the night, that was weird, but I okay. might do that. So what time are you gonna be home on Saturday? I don't know, that depends on how long it takes for me to get the reroute done in their IP addresses and to change every single machine in the building, which they have two floors of machines, that can take quite a long time. We have a house showing tomorrow at 2.30. So I probably will, eat, if it's around that time, I'll just meet up with you guys somewhere. Okay. Hey buds. Hey. Be quiet. Okay, I'm done talking Don't now. Don't tell Poppy to be quiet. That's not hey. nice. First day of vlogging, hey. my mother says be quiet, so no more talking for me. It's all yours, Lord. Well, I have steak for lunch because I thought that we would do a easy dinner since you're gone. So I still think we kind of should do the steak for lunch just because I don't know if it's going to rain later. Yeah. Sounds good. It's better than the usual sandwiches. We're cleaning out the freezer right now because we're moving. So Lori's asked me to get the grill started for her. And um, I had to pull it out from the house and get this bad boy started. It's been raining, so it's a really yucky day to try to grill. But we've got to do something with this steak. So i got to get this thing going just to have it so she can do it. Hopefully this will get it off. Here it goes. I'm gonna put a link in here to my Utmost online as well as to um, how to get the book online so that you can get a copy for Utmost First Highs for yourself. But I just want to read a couple quotes because I can do that from my um, quiet time today. So this is literally from the devotion today. And it's just it's so timely with us leaving this house, selling it, not knowing what's next and going on to Lord knows who's where. We're going to go to North Carolina and stay at the family farm for a little while and pray and see where he's moving and join him and then buy property and move somewhere else, a place that we don't know. I'm. We're not doing this for cuteness. We're really doing this for real life. This is a real adventure for us. But listen to what Chambers says today. It says in first, he uses the passage, 1 John 3, 2, it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. And then it says, our natural inclination is to be so precise, trying always to forecast accurately what will happen next, that we look upon uncertainty as a bad thing. We think that we must reach some predetermined goal, but that is not the nature of the spiritual life. The nature of the spiritual life is that we are certain in our uncertainty. Consequently, we do not put down roots. Our common sense says, well, what if I were in that circumstance? We cannot presume to see ourselves in any circumstance in which we have never been. Wow. And then it says, certainty is the mark of the common sense life. Gracious uncertainty is the mark of the spiritual life. To be certain of God means that we are uncertain in all our ways, not knowing what tomorrow may bring. Wow. Isn't that cool? It's like God knows our seasons and our times and he planned out even this and just reading this today, it's just perfect. I find the same thing happens in my Bible. You know, as we keep doing this journey together, you're going to see more and more that that's what happens with us. It's so fun to see the words match the timing and no, no plan of ours, just 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your paths, which is my life verse since the 1990s before I started doing full-time ministry. Even before I'm getting to work tonight, we've had a system go down, which I won't show you their back end details, but I'm working on it right now from the house, getting their email system back up because they've had domain issues. And so here we are, I'm online doing my thing, working, and the family's over here eating lunch without me. But it's okay because this is how we roll and you gotta be on call for stuff like this. Um, I'm not tech support per se. I'm the next tier up in the development side, and so since this falls under development, I've gotta get these domains fixed for their email to keep routing through Microsoft Office 365. But this is real, this is how it is, every day. What's wrong? This thing is tangled. Your slinky is tangled? Maybe Poppy can fix it. A Poppy is God. No, he's not. Where is he? He's in his office. Is he doing a phone call? No. Why don't you go down there? Poppy fixed it. it How? Won't work. I didn't watch. I didn't watch. It won't work right. But still. Ooh, wait. did you say thank you? Oh, but I think he's really catching up to work. Okay. It took a lot. It's a lot of time, so I will say thank you later. Okay, so Malachi just told me a new word. I want to know who taught it to him. What? Put your shirt down. Malachi, say hola. Hola. <laughs> I'm down in my basement office. Since I've got time before work tonight, I'm catching up on a few things I've got to do here. I'm currently finishing up my third book, Warrior's Battle. My first two, if you've not heard, are... Forest Fire book and Warrior's Manual. We'll put a link somewhere, maybe in the description today for um, some of that. I'm working on my book down here, taking some time just to chill out. And then um, you can see kind of my setup. I'm working on other things all over the place. Um, some of the recording we do down here and everything else. And, you know, I'm going to miss this part. This is my favorite um, space in the house besides the porch and my prayer closet. But I'm down here, I'm going to get a couple things done, and then um, once I'm finished, I'm going to um, get ready for work tonight. And that's kind of it. Shall we begin? From the naps. Hey. Did hey. you wake hey. up from the naps? Like a reset button. You woke up sweet. You're such a sweet boy. Hey. Oh, he's so hey. sweet. Hey. Hey. Mommy wakes hey. me up. I'm so sweet. Hey. Oh, don't show me your so belly. So sweet. Don't show me your belly. I don't want to see your belly. <laughs> Put your shirt down. <laughs> Love that laugh. Where did they go? Oh, they disappeared. <laughs> wow. Great magic they trick. They will reappear. They're going to reappear too? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> and. Are they going to reappear I or think not? They're going to reappear. <laughs> and. Ta da! They reappear. <laughs> Yay. And I didn't like it the whole time. I wanna, I wanna, A magician never reveals I the secret. Say Trevor Grace, peace, bless this cover, texture, juice, and pray God, I'm chill before my hobbit angels around here, separate, bless everything, touch me, you bless my curses. Pray watches over, keep safe, pray life from Jesus' name, pray that you're good girls, and Monica is a good boy, pray hope over you, pray angels around this room, whisper to the kids' room out, keep them safe, pray life over these kiddos, I pray God that. Anna and Lydia will be good girls, and Malachi will be a good boy, and that Anna and Lydia will follow you, Jesus, and Malachi will choose you, Jesus. Pray hope over them. Say true grace, peace, blessings, come protection, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is 8.30. That's Dustin's truck right there. I'm getting ready to go to bed. He's on his way down to D.C. He's going to work overnight on the system doing some IT fancy stuff that I don't know much about. I'm going to go to sleep and in the vlog now, but he's going to keep it going. Well, it's uh, 830. I'm driving into DC. It takes about an hour to drive from where I live all the way in. 
And this is the IT life. I'm getting ready to head in to do work late in the evening and um, head back tomorrow. So this is day one for my work. And even though the vlog goes on, I will keep working through the night. And uh, I'll check in with you guys as I get there and do some fun stuff as we go forward. This will be fun. Stay with me. Here we go. Everybody else is going to bed. Here we are. We are getting ready to go into one of my favorite clients' offices here in the DC metro area. We're going to jump into IT work and get all of these IP addresses, architecture built out. And Daniel's here with me. We're going to go have fun. It's about I think fun. Has done many, many times. That's before. right. That's right. He, wear, <laughs> he wears cool shorts. <laughs> Here's what we do whenever we're working here. So many nights set this up where I hops on and we got worship going. Even before I hop, I just turn on worship in here, have it blasting while we're working. But we're setting this up as our main space and a prayer space. So we're actually we're working and we get to do intercession and worship at the same time. So it's awesome to have the prayer feed and the live feed right here and to jump in. And so then you are about to jump in. We're gonna hop into prayer now and then we're gonna be doing some IT stuff. I'll show you some of that tonight but this is how we roll. So today I am a network architect. The first official um, super subnet I've ever built. 4.15 in the morning and we are still going. We've been going all the way around every single desk, one by one. It is something and just changing out the IPs, restarting machines all the way through here, way around here. Work in the dark a lot. There's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Ian. I'm heading home. For me, it's been one day. It is now Saturday. I just finished IT work. It is 7:36 in the morning, and. Uh, I built a super subnet, and now I'm a network architect. Fun stuff. Here we go. Heading home, the end. Good night, or good morning. <laughs> 